What's up everybody, Punch here. I'm going to talk a little bit about this new update that came out for RoboQuest called the Endless Update. And what it is, is it adds a new mode and new mechanics in the game within Endless Mode. For example, they have singularities and glitches, duo bosses, and a lot harder enemies to fight. Not to mention, every single map that you go and play is random. So if you're going to District 13, or you're going to Oasis, Ruins, or whichever, it's all completely random. When you go and fight a boss as well, in the normal runs you would be fighting one boss. This is different endless mode. You're going to be fighting two at the same time. So there's Dr. Turret, Uncle Jim, Diggy Mole, and some of the other ones like Judge Ball and Battle Royale. The other thing is when you go into the purple rooms that normally you'd have to like do an obstacle course, it's just automatically giving you what you want for items. And when you complete a level, it'll give you a glitch. And this is a modifier that's against you, so you can do overprices that cost more for power cells or get more damage done to you, slash they have max HP that's reduced. It really depends upon what you're going to get per the run, and they're always different every single time. So the other thing when it came down to endless mode is that they added, besides dual bosses, they added progression. Your character progresses faster than normal mode and reaches higher highs. You can get up to 5 perks and way more upgrades than regular mode, talking about the patch notes. So like I said earlier, when it comes down to the dual bosses, when you get into a fight, this is what it looks like. It'll show you the name of what the two are, and then you'll get into your fight. It's pretty difficult when it comes down to fighting two at the same time, especially when it comes down to multiple attacks and having to deal with them do their like patterns for attacking. Like Judge Ball, for example, doing his lasers and then shoots the red balls on the ground, and you're trying to dodge everything. I don't know if you can not take damage, and if you can, it's probably going to be pretty difficult to do. And I didn't really have any decent weapons with my character, so I said, screw it, use the power fist, and I just kept punching while jumping on top of Judge Ball. And this is going to happen with every run in Endless. And I'm pretty sure when it comes down to Endless mode, it doesn't really end. So, I mean, I'm kind of glad for adding more content. And, I mean, it was fun earlier playing when I did stream for about 8 hours on RoboQuest and then get on Deadside after that. So, I wanted to put this out and talk a little bit about it before Thanksgiving actually happened. One last thing before the end of the video. They talk about alternate levels and they say you will run through alternate variants of the usual levels. They are shorter and enemy packed, mixing and matching environments and different lighting scenarios, making it tougher to deal with rather than the usual of a couple enemies here in one spot, another in another spot, and then you get to the end. But this is all I got for the RoboQuest Endless update. There wasn't much else, and I've been one nut punch. But like I said, I probably won't be able to put out a video until later on next week since, you know, Thanksgiving and all these other holiday kind of things are happening. But like I said, there wasn't much else when it comes down to the specific update. I thought I'd put it out pretty quick, show people what it is, and then they can maybe go back and play it. But anyway... Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.